Hello, friends. Today, we're going to be learning all about the human body. And what's so cool about this book is we're going to find hidden pictures with our flashlight. So get ready to have a lot of fun as you read this book. Let's get started. The Human Body, a Shine a Light book by Karen Brown and Rachel Saunders. A human body has many parts that work together to help a person live and grow. If you look closely at people eating, moving, breathing, talking, and playing, you will see their bodies working. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to the light to see inside the human body. Discover a hidden world of great surprises. A new person is waiting to be born. This mother is with child or she's pregnant. Can you see her? Let's check it out. <gasps> wow! Do you see that baby? That is so amazing. Wow, that is beautiful. A wonderful creation. Now you don't see it? Now you do. You don't see it? Now you do. Ah, here she is. The baby is growing in her mother's belly. She stays there for nine months until she is ready to be born. A child slowly grows bigger until he or she becomes an adult. Do you know what is growing inside these children's bodies underneath their skin? Let's check it out. <gasps> what is that? That is their skeleton. Do you see it? That is so amazing. Yeah, there it is. Stretch bones. More than 200 of them are joined together in a frame called a skeleton, which helps the body stay strong as it gets bigger. This girl has run very fast to catch up with the ball. What makes her body move? <gasps> what are those? Those are muscles. Muscles. Her muscles help her to move. The muscles that are joined to her skeleton pull on her bones to make her body move. Goal! Skin covers and protects the body. On our fingertips, the skin forms special patterns. Can you see them on this girl's hand? <gasps> Do you see those? Wow, those are our fingerprints or finger patterns. Thumbprints right here, that's our thumbprint. Wow, that is so cool. Swirls and whirls cover the fingertips. These skin patterns are called fingerprints. Every person's fingerprints are different. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Air comes into the body through the nose and the mouth. Where does it go next? It goes into our lungs. There they are, our lungs. The air is sucked into the lungs. The oxygen in the air keeps the body alive. Whoosh. Air travels all through the body. It is carried by the blood. How does the blood move through the body? Let's check it out. Whoa, that is so, so cool. Very cool. The heart pumps the blood around the body. It beats, boom, 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 with each pump. Here's the heart and it's pumping the blood throughout the body. This cat's fur feels soft. The boy knows this because sensors in his skin send messages to his brain 
about what he is touching. Where is his brain? Let's see. Oh, it's up here. There's his brain. Do you see it? <laughs> that is so cool. Here's the rest of his body, but it's up here. In his head, the messages whiz to the brain along the nerves in the boy's arm. The brain figures out the message and tells the body what to do next. So here's your nerves and they send messages all the way up to your brain. The body has five senses that tell it about the world. These are sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Which sense is this boy using? He's something with the ice cream. What is he doing? He is oh, tasting it with his tongue. That's right. It is so yummy, yummy, yummy. What flavor do you think it is? Maybe strawberry? He is using smell and taste. His nose smells the ice cream and his tongue tastes it. Yum, yum, yum. The busy human body needs energy to stay active. We get this energy from food. What happens to food after it's been swallowed? Check it out. It goes down, 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 and into the stomach. That is so cool. And then the intestines. The food travels down a tube to the stomach, and then it squeezes through a longer winding tube called the intestines. Here's your stomach. Here's your intestines. The body uses the food for energy. Any food that can't be used leaves the body as poop. Eating lots of healthy foods helps the body to stay well. What's inside this basket? Check it out. Oh, I see a lot of healthy foods. I see a pear and an apple and bread and onions and carrots and fish and cheese. Wow. That is so healthy. Vegetables, fruit, fish, cheese, and bread. These foods each have different nutrients that keep the body healthy. Munch, crunch. Drinking plenty of water helps to get the body healthy, but the body must get rid of the water it doesn't need. How does this happen? Well, it comes through our kidneys. Two kidneys in the body collect the unwanted water and turn it into pee. The pee flows down tubes into an expandable sac called the bladder. When the bladder is full, the pee is ready to leave the body. Open wide. Oh! Food can stick to teeth and damage them, so they need to be brushed clean. A dentist is checking this boy's teeth. Do you know what is going to fill the gap? Oh my, he has more teeth that are going to grow in. A new tooth. First teeth are called baby teeth. As the body grows, each baby tooth is pushed out by a larger adult tooth. There are 20 baby teeth and 32 adult teeth. If harmful germs get inside the body, they can make us ill or sick. The body can fight off most germs by itself, but sometimes a doctor's help is needed. This doctor is holding a thermometer. What will it show? Let's see. Uh-oh. The thermometer shows the body's temperature, but this temperature is okay. A number higher than 99 tells the doctor that the body is fighting hard to get rid of the germs and might need medicine. This girl is at the hospital. She has fallen down and hurt her arm. The doctor used an x-ray machine to take a picture of her arm bones. Can you see the x-ray? Let's see. Here it is. Do you see the fracture or the break? Right there. Ouch! One bone is broken. The doctor will put a hard cast around the arm 
This will keep it still until the broken bone is mended. Bodies need rest. When we are sleeping, it might seem like not much is happening, but the body is still quite busy. What is going on inside this boy's brain? Let's see. Oh, he's dreaming. He's dreaming of a cat dancing and singing. Dreams happen when the brain puts together all kinds of different thoughts. The human body is so amazing that it can even make a new brother or sister for you. Wow, look at that. So many things. There's more. The body has lots of different jobs to do. Read more about some of the parts of the body that are in this book. The skeleton is a frame of connected bones that shapes a body. Joints such as ankles, elbows, and hips are where bones join together and allow the body to bend. Muscles. Flexible muscles help a person move. Most muscles are attached to the skeleton and work in pairs to move it. Muscles pull on bones to make them move. Blood. Blood is a liquid made up of tiny cells. Red blood cells carry oxygen, while white blood cells kill germs. Lungs. Air containing a gas called oxygen is breathed in and fills the lungs, which inflate like balloons. Blood flowing through the lungs collects the oxygen. As waste gases are breathed out, the lungs deflate and get smaller. Heart. The heart is a muscle that beats nonstop to pump blood throughout the body. Blood flows through tubes called arteries and veins. Brain. The brain is where thoughts and feelings come from. It controls the muscles as well as some actions such as breathing and heartbeat, which take place without us having to think about them. Stomach. The stomach is a stretchy bag-like body part that food goes into after it is swallowed. Muscles in the stomach move to break down the food and turn it into mush. Germs. Germs are tiny bacteria and viruses that can make us ill or sick. Sometimes medicine is needed to help the body fight the germs. The end. Thank you so much for reading about the human body with me. Wasn't that so great? I will see you next time. Bye, friends.